Hello again everyone, this is Mr. Elberonin here, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Fat Gum, the BMI hero. Um, Fat Gum's a really interesting character, he has a lot of buttons obviously since he has two forms to fight in, which are completely different, and obviously he has, he's a great counter character with this amazing fat absorption move, which I'm sure you recognize from the anime. Anyway, getting into his buttons, his regular attack string is a three hitting string that can be easily dash cancelled after because of the bouncing effect that the enemy's into, so after the third hit, you can dash cancel into whatever. His ground armor attack is a decently long reaching strike, it can be dash cancelled if you're near a wall. So say, for example, if I'm here, I can dash cancel into something afterwards, but if you're mid-screen, uh, I don't think you can follow up after it. Yeah, they get long too far. His red attack, his block attack, or as you can call it, is unblockable, is an interesting... <laughs> I really like it. It's a, a floor splat, a, a wall splat, but on the floor, kind of like Kami's quirk 2 string. So it's quite fast and it's decently ranged. You can hit it from, I think, about here. Oh, maybe even further than that. Oh, yeah, wow, really long ranged. I didn't even realize that. Anyways, very long range, and since they're in a wall splat, you have a lot of time to go into whatever combos you want, and they will all connect because they're stuck in the floor. Yes, very good red attack. Leads into basically anything. Um, his air tilt attack is a, a belly flop, flop splat. Um, it's what I usually use after his air string to end it. It does decent damage and has a good knockdown. Um, oh yeah, his air string is not great, but you know, it's an air string. It does two hits, only 2700 damage, and it's pretty slow and doesn't reach that far. But, you know, it gets the job done for an air combo. Okay, now into his quirks. His quirk one is this armored strike. Um, I use this more than his armor move in the neutral. They're basically the same, except this one's just a little less unsafe since he does the um, backflip back after he hits it. So when he hits them unblock, he'll go back a bit and usually they might hit miss what they go to do or something. Um, it can be dash cancelled after as well, which is good. A lot more easily than his, um, his other armored attack, his tilt attack. Is a lot harder to get things after it, so if you want to use an armor attack and go into a combo to end out the round, this is one I would use. His tilt quirk is this uppercut, like, hand slash thing. He, like, slaps you up into the air with that. Um, he can hit the button again to get another follow up where he belly, belly bumps you. <laughs> I don't know what that's called bounces you with his belly in the air. Um, the first part can be dash cancelled out of, but you can cancel out of this um, for extended combos. You can cancel after the second hit, but I haven't found anything that's able to connect afterwards, so I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're getting wall splat. Um, both attacks work basically the exact same in the air. Armor move and his uppercut are both the same in the air. Both hits. Exactly the same. Okay, now for his quirk 2, which I found very interesting. It is a counter move, but it has full armor. So it's basically a, an armored counter move, which is pretty good. So there's. Uh, let me show you how it works. Okay, so I'll put overhaul into doing his target combo, and I'll go in into it, you see he absorbs the attacks, and can release it whenever he wants. And get a good 5000 damage. He can absorb as many attacks as he wants, as long as they're not red attacks. And whenever he releases it, 
he will get a full combo. Uh, what you may have seen before is it's very good to do partway through their combo because it's very fast. So after Overhaul's first two hits, there's a gap in between the second and the third. So I could press it in between. Let me show you again. Oh, oops. Okay, one more try. I did it before. And then you can punish his thing for 5,000 damage. This applies for a lot of characters. Oh, spoilers. That applies for a lot of characters, but um. Uh, oh. Uh, that, that works to get a lot of characters have a gap in their string where you can do his parry in the middle, which is really great. Okay. Oh, so, parry side. Oh, just another side note on the parry it can be done in the air. And a great thing, unlike other parries, it can be held as long as you like. So, if they think you're gonna release it and then you keep holding it and then they go to attack you, you can. You'll get the counter anyways, and you can also release it whenever you want. So if you like, think, press it and then think they're going to do a red move, then you can do a dash out of the way or something and like quickly avoid it. So yes, very good counter. I think it's a lot better than most in the game. Um, his tilt quirk too is this grab. It does really good damage, but I don't have a very good way of following afterwards. They just sent flying too far. Unless you're near the wall, oops, something like that. It's very, yeah, very hard to get a combo. So, see here if I go. Oh. Yeah, anyways, obviously you can follow up if they're near a wall because they'll bounce off and then you can get the two hits into a splat if you want. And then that's pretty decent damage. But another thing of the tilt work too is if you hold it, it turns into a true red grab. Which is great because people don't expect it, especially after your first two hits of this. You can cancel them to that, and if they were blocking, they thought the third hit was coming, and now you've hit them with a nice and easy damaging combo. Um, combos with this formation of Fat Gum, usually, as you saw before, I do three hits into two into this. 7,200. It's not great, but it has like the enemy is forced onto the ground for a long time, which is called good knockdown. You can cancel into something else to finish, we'll do about the same damage. Uh, or you can cancel into something else if you want a wall splat. But, yeah, I tend to st stick with this for his bread and butter. His, his other attacks just... In this form, he's not much of a combo character. Like, if you can get this, you can get some cool things. Oops. Like, if you want to get a bit more damage, you can do that. Or, especially after his red attack, you'll get a bit more damage, and you can set up, like, your spacing for your wall splat. If you can do it successfully, but yeah, that's basically him in this form. Now, as you may have seen before, there was a few, bit of a spoiler. He has two ways of turning into his his, fat, uh, his slim form. I think that's what it's called, his thin form. Um, you can either turn into it by I'll get him to hit me a few times by absorbing enough attacks through here. You can see the um. The bubbles that come off are getting darker, the more things I counter, and now I've turned into this guy. So you don't have to do that in one go, like I just did. Uh, you can absorb like one attack, and then another attack later in the game, another projectile. I think you have to absorb about five things, and then you get to turn into his thin form. So I'll just... So there I get one counter in. You want to always release it because it, it's 5,000 is a decent amount of damage for a counter. And I think if I absorb one more, yeah, that when it goes red, then you'll transform into thin form. And thin form, when you have the transformation, it's completely invincible then.
Okay, now for the thin form breakdown, which is completely different from his other variation. So, his ground string is a four hitting one, but takes three buttons. You just press the attack button three, three times and it'll finish the string. Oh, by the way, this variation is definitely much more of a brawler. Uh, he doesn't have many counters, but he does a lot of damage and has a lot of pressure and stuff. Um, yeah, quarter hitting attack string, pretty decent, does good damage, and can be dash cancelled afterwards. Um, his red attack is a good red attack, it has decent distance, actually it has pretty good distance, I didn't realize. It has good distance and it can be comboed afterwards. It can connect into any of his buttons. His tilt attack um, isn't that great in this variation, it's very short ranged. You don't get anything obvious after it, you can't combo into it. Uh, yep, I don't use it that often. His air string is a three hitting string that leads into a bounce, so it's very easy to follow up with either a dash cancel or an armor move. And here his air armor move is just a, a kick that can be cancelled into other attacks, so it's good for extending. Um, extending his combos. Uh, in this form, his quirk one is a three strike attack that on the ground launches them into the air and does decent damage, and this is how I usually start combos, so I can go one, two, oops. And then you can also use it to end if you want. In the air, it just leads to a, a complete splat, but it's a decent damaging end. His tilt quirk is this three hitting kick attack. It's very fast, does good damage, and it also has an ender if you press the button again. It does really good damage for one special move, 4600, and that's what you usually use to end combos. So if I go. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, I'm gonna move into this. That was one dash cancel and it does 8,500 damage, which is better than his other vari- his, um, fat variation, and it also leads to a very consistent wall splat. They're facing the wall. Here. Or you can go into any of these other crazy combos. Um, oh yeah, I showed this in the air. You can also use this, if you're near a wall, it can be used to extend combos. Oops. Uh, like so. I messed that up, but you see the point. One, two, three, and to this. One, two, three, that. And I wasn't near a wall, but essentially you can follow up again if you're near a non-wall splatting wall. Uh, his quirk two in this variation, you don't want to do t too many times because this is if you use it too many times, you'll turn into his fat form again. Um, it's essentially a, a really high damaging strikes, as you can see there's 6,500, and it's quite fast. But he, as you can see, he eats a takoyaki afterwards. And I think if he does this move three times, then he'll turn into his fat form. And I don't want to do that because I want to keep showcasing him. Um, his tilt quirk 2 in this variation is this unusual grab that throws them far away. It has a cool animation similar to his... Oh, no, 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 oops. Well, I guess now I can showcase the second way of him turning into his fat form. And that's obviously... Uh, oops. That's obviously by going into his... Uh, using his level 2 plus ultra attack. So we saw there was a basic combo into it, it'll do pretty decent damage. Oh wow, really good damage actually. Six th 16,900. Oh, that's amazing. Um, anyways, with his attack that I was showing before, 
Uh, if you didn't catch it there, it can be hard to see, so that's why it's pretty good. It, if you hold it, it turns into a red attack that reaches really far and people are never ready for this. Um, also, yeah, as you can see, it's hard to follow up mid-screen. You want to be near a corner if you want to dash cancel. Otherwise, just do the damage. It's pretty decent on its own. Okay, so... I might have shown you already, but combo-wise, for this variation, I like to do these into so his first two hits into his quirk one string. Oops, not like that. So his this into his <laughs> into this into his two hits from the air. Oh, actually, I think I make, can optimize it further by doing three hits in the air. Let me test that. Yes, I can. Okay. So, the B and B in this variation, bread and butter, B and B, um, will be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, into armor move, into kick ender. Oh yeah, there we go. 9,000 damage, which is a little bit better. One, two, three. Oops, not that. One, two, three, one, two, there we go. That was a slightly more extended combo. I did two dash cancels and got a little bit more damage. Actually, you know, that was a decent amount more damage to do. So, yeah, if you want, you can go do an extra dash cancel after the kick special move. There we go. 11,300 damage. And it, did you, if you didn't notice, that wasn't even a meteor, meteor blow at the end, so if I was near a wall, that would have wall splat. Oh, let me show. Wait, it's a bit hard to show, but the kick attack is usually very good at getting wall splats. Here we go, yeah. If you're not riding up against the wall, it's... It's really get, great at getting wall splats. And then once they're on the wall, if I can show that again, please. And you can just restart the whole system. Or, actually, even better... What, why did you go that way? <laughs> Essentially, when they go into a wall splat and then they're stuck into the wall, dash up and do his red move, and then do his normal combo again. To do. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I did that wrong, and now he's gonna. Yeah. Anyways, you can get very good damage that way, um, and pretty easily in this variation. Um, also, this string here is safe on block, unlike a lot of normal strings, just letting you know. Uh, to combo into his plus ultra attack in this variation, I recommend just doing 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It does 11,700, or if you wanted to, well, um, if you have, if you're not, <laughs> you can do one, you can do his attack into his quirk too, like this. Oh, I think that was a meteor blow. Oops. Um, if you don't meteor blow, that's just because he was reset after the other thing. Okay, one, two, three, into this, and that does a bit more damage, I believe. Doesn't whiff, I've never seen it do that before. One, two, three, into this, 
That's so weird. I'm doing this consistently before we started. One, two, three. Maybe it's the size of the character. I was practicing on Nomu before. Maybe it doesn't work consistently on smaller characters like Overhaul. Okay, yeah. So if that's the case, I definitely re recommend sticking to this where it will actually hit. There we go. 11,000. Did 11,500 before. Pretty decent damage. Um, I'm not sure if I actually showed you uh, combo into a plus ultra attack in his fat form, so I'll quickly show you that. Um, I usually do... Mm, just remembering. I think 1, 2, 3 into, into his quirk 1. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, I think that... That does constantly whiff. So probably... Let me just test that again. Oh no. Wow, that is really decent damage. So one, two, three, into quirk one. And then hopefully if you're not right beside a wall, the whole thing will hit and do really great damage. Wow, 13,500. That's pretty good. Um, anyways, I think that's about it for Fat Gum. Make sure you're using his counters. Um, obviously in this game, so many people just mash buttons and attack whenever they want, especially if you're fighting in a 100% Deku. Just throw this on, they press the button, release it whenever, as soon as you see them hit something, so that you can get the counter, absorb, get, go into your slim form, and then use his amazing rush down. Um, I think that's about it for Fat Gum, so thanks guys, thanks for watching, and thank you for the recommendation of covering Fat Gum, because I think he's actually a pretty interesting character. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.